Right guys, welcome back to another part of Elden Ring. Now, I just want to quickly say I really appreciate the support so far. Now, I haven't even had my channel for a year now. It's been... It'll be a year in June that like I would have had the channel. And I'm nearly at 2,000 subs already, so... Thank you so much to everyone that subscribes, checks out my content, and leaves a comment. It really means a lot, because obviously... This is something I've always wanted to do for a long, long time, for years, for about... 10 years I've wanted to do it and I've finally only just got around to doing it so I'm more than happy that you guys enjoy watching my content let's get it okay so in the previous part we actually found ourselves a nice maiden and we got a horse whistle now before we use a horse whistle there's a little camp here I think it's it's just ending from night time let me have a look okay so it's early morning time and what I'm going to do is try and sneak it might not end well as we've seen from the previous parts with bosses, but I want to try and, you know, just be as stealthy as I can, get some, uh, get some runes, maybe upgrade ourselves. So, can we go up here? Is there anything here? Nope. Okay, so I do want to make sure to keep the stealthy approach. There is an enemy there, but is there a patrol coming up? Yeah, it does seem to be a guard or two coming up, so I'm going to go around the outskirts of it for now take off whatever enemies I can and then whatever one's left I should be able to take them all out. That's what I'm hoping. It's easy saying that. Never mind. Doing it is a bit more difficult. So, there's a guy coming up here. And I should be able to pick him off. Get that material. Ooh, I hear that. I think what game like, I do want to actually play soon is the Resident Evil 2 Remake. That is one of my favourite games of all time. And it deserves a lot of love from me because it's something that I think would be really enjoyable for the channel and for you guys to watch because no matter how many times I play it, I still lose my shit when Mr. X chases me. It's such a good game. A bit disappointed with the Resident Evil 3 remake because, I don't know, it just, it didn't have that same feeling of when you're getting chased by Nemesis. It just, I couldn't. Put me finger on what it was. It's a good game, don't get me wrong. Hang on, what's in here? What is it? Ooh, a flail. Hang on, let's have a look at that then. Okay, so let's go to equipment. So, got the halberd, right arm, and let's equip another one. Okay, so we haven't got enough physical attributes. Um, no, enough dexterity, that's it. It says attributes required. You can see on the bottom right attributes required dexterity 18 what dexterity have i got 13 okay so i'm a fair bit off it most people do go for dex builds in the from soft games uh, i think maybe i might have made a mistake but i normally feel most comfortable using whatever the knight class or the closest knight class there is there's a kick-ass person there if i loop back around there i should be able to stealth two people this probably isn't what you wanted when you see an Elden Ring gameplay. Oh, shoot. I do like that you can be stealthy, though. I do like that. And let's get him. Should be safe to get him. Here we go. Right. Any enemies around here? Is that an enemy in the, in the distance? No. Nope. Okay, there's a dude there. Is it going to be safe to get him? Or is he going to turn round? Let's... Oh, I forgot I wasn't even crouching. Okay, let's get him. He's got the horn so he can alert people. I'm pretty sure that's what they do. They can alert more people in the camp. Oh, we didn't even spot that person there. Well, actually, no, we did spot him. Hang on. I will get to safety and I'll check out that Lord Sawn straight sword. See how good that is. Okay, so I think we're safe for the time being. So, obviously, we've just got to just got the normal long sword and so we can use that so that does 115 plus that is better it does more critical it does more of everything obviously it gives us more of an equip load so if i how heavy is that if i hang on i didn't want to do that so if i remove this what will it take our equip load to so we're nearly at full equip load when really we want to have it more than well less than half so we can do the quick roll we're on 34 now we do need a shield but if i 
remove that. It's run 30, so... Yeah, uh, yeah, we need to get rid of another 6, ideally. If I get rid of some bolts... How much is a shield? See, a shield, you always need a shield, really. So, that's a bit of a tough one, unless I... No, I can't even... I just need lighter armor, I think, at the moment. Lighter armor, and I should sort it out, so... Yeah, you've always got to find the perfect balance. Like, if you want to roll away quickly, do you want to sacrifice having some heavy armor that, you know, is more resistant to, like, blunt attacks and everything of sort? Yeah, th this game, wow. It's so good so far. Right, so one enemy there, let's get him. Why am I whispering? Oh shit, I did not see you. Has that alerted everyone else or not? I don't think it has. Ooh, Godric Soldier Gauntlet. I will have a look at those in just a moment. That dude's not gonna wake up, is he? And we've got a rune fragment. Now the rune fragments are similar to Um Like when you get when you get certain souls in Demon Souls. Um, and you can, you know, you can use them to acquire more souls to upgrade your character. Right, so far so good. We are doing all right clearing this camp out. What is that? Oh, it just kicked the skull. <laughs> right, can we go in here? Nope. Right, just while I'm here at the moment, I want to hang on. Is there anyone there? There is one person there, but I have a feeling... Someone else might pop out. Right. Right. Yeah, that person's coming up there, so what I want to do is wait until they turn back. Purely because we're still level 1 in the game. Or no, technically we're, technically we're level 1, but it starts you off depending on what class you pick. as like level 9, level 8, and such, but we're still beginning class. We haven't upgraded any of our skills, and we've just got... We've only just got a weapon that's slightly better than the one you start off with. We'll get him. That made quite a bit of noise. And we got a smoldering butterfly, so now we can craft one of those fire bombs. Hang on, what's this? I will take a look at that right now. As we're now in a safe area. So, a new map has been found, Limgrave West. So, here's where we need to go. That is the gate front. So that's where we need to go. Now, there is something there. Where maybe that's a little dungeon or something. And here's where we originally started off. So the map is quite large, obviously. I don't think we can go to these areas unless we can get a boat. But if I zoom out now, that map is massive. And I'm pretty sure that is just the start of uh, Limgrave. That like, expands much more. The map is supposed to be... The biggest map you will see in a FromSoft game, which is understandable. Can't remember how many years they actually worked on this game, but I do know it was quite a lot. But the fact it's sitting at this moment in time of recording, it's sitting at 97. Oh shit, 97 on Metacritic. So, yeah, it's uh, doing quite well. So, oh my god. Okay, um, how the hell am I going to take all these on now? So they've just looped around there. Maybe I can get him now. Oh shoot. Oh no. Oh no. The dog's gonna lay him. Oh shoot. Oh okay. Holy sh how has he not seen me? What the hell? Oh I'm not gonna complain, he hasn't seen me. That's amazing. So if I go back around here. Right, this is a bit risky now. Oh shoot, I didn't know there was that many of them. Oh shoot. Come on, don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh yes. So, double jump. Here we go. Now what I want to do is... Let's heal ourselves. Right, where are the enemies? Here we go. Yeah, boy. Oh. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Okay, maybe I should um, jump off it. Here we go. Okay, so 
the horse fighting, um, horse fighting, the fighting while mounted works a bit differently than I expected it to. I was expecting to run through the enemies, but I don't think that's obviously you know, the case. Yeah, boy. So there's one more enemy there now. I have a feeling they're not going to be easy to kill. So we killed all the wolves as well. So now. If we just sneak here. Hang on, they're not going to see us, are they? <gasps> that was close. That was so close. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Shit. Shit. We're going to seal ourselves. We can't risk it. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Oh my god, this is a difficult. Oh no. It's not a boss, so what we can do is I am going to absolutely cheese it, because why not? Oh no, I can hear run, I can hear running, I can hear them running. Oh! Maybe if we roll behind. There we go! Yeah, boy! So vanquishing enemy groups, vanquishing, vanquishing sorry. An enemy group will replenish your flasks. The number of, and type of flask to be replenished varies depending on an enemy group. You cannot replenish more flasks than your maximum amount allows. Okay. I'm actually very glad the man should kill all them. Now, there was some gauntlets that we found before, so... These weigh three and a half. What do these weigh? These weigh three and a half as well, but they do... Less physical... Uh, more against slash and pierce and more against holy so i'm just gonna stick with what i got for now have it all nice and matchy matchy now some steps down here what is gonna be in here i don't have a good feeling about this unless there's a load of loot i hope there's a load of loot maybe it's a shortcut Ooh, a chest please don't be one of those ones that opens up and kills me Right, what is it? Hey, with a whetstone knife, you can use ashes of war to grant your armaments new skills as sights of grace. And armaments can only be can only have one skill. Any skill it previously had will be removed. Oh, okay. So we've got the storm storm. Um, you can use ashes of war to grant affinities to your armaments as sights of grace, which we already knew. Okay. We've got the whetstone knife. So what I'm going to do is go back to that sight of grace. Replenish our health. I think we've literally looked around everywhere we can at the moment in here. Um, the enemies probably will respawn. I mean, 99% of the time they do respawn. But what I want to do is Sights of Grace and then if I backtrack, um, there was like a little logo with a telescope showing. Oh my god, that just popped in a lot of environment. Okay, so... I go to level up because we have got enough so I'm thinking about maybe doing my XP first because even though we choose the Vagabond which I think has the highest amount of uh, HP uh, it's still probably best me doing it because I'm still learning everything in the game might as well have more health so I don't die as quick I mean that's not exactly how it works in uh, these games so I can upgrade it twice I'm going to upgrade it once and then with stamina max equip load as well because then if we get it down to 25 or max equip load we should be able to do the quick roll which i'll show you now say if i let me just do the ashes of war so ashes of war menu you can use the ashes of war to grant skills and affinities we already know that add an affinity you can alter an armament stack affinity boost attribute scaling and more oh that's quite cool Okay, so we got the Lord Swan's Great Sword and the Heater Shield. So if we go that and the Storm Stomp. And. Oh, okay. So Lord Swan's Straight Sword and Lord Swan's Quality Sword. Oh. Now. The Quality Sword, it looks like it just. Hang on. FP cost. Um, so if we go on physical, it actually does less damage if you do it in quality. So, 
I'm not sure how that works. Maybe I've done that wrong or read it wrong, but I'm going to keep it as a, just a straight sword. Now, I'm not sure how you use these. I think it might have been, you know, in the tutorial when we're holding left trigger, it might have been that. But if I leave here now, what I was going to show you is, right, all the enemies are back as I thought. If I roll there, unless that's a quick roll, if I roll there, and if I maybe unequip that, that should... Am I down to half? Okay, maybe I've already got the quick roll. Maybe I was just imagining it. Okay, so what I want to do is let's look at the map. And uh, down there, I have no idea what that is. But yeah, it looks like a little telescope and obviously there's a building or two over there. So before progressing on with the main story, because we have just got the mountains as well, we might as well do a bit of exploring. You know, it sounds uh, sounds good. Um, I think we've done everything we possibly can in the gate front ruins. For now. There's probably more stuff that opens up, but for now we seem to have done everything, so... Let's um, call this mount. Oh, that's so sick. That never gets old. I mean, I've done it twice, of course. It's not going to get old. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. I was clicking left stick for sprint, when that's not how it works. The circle to sprint. Here we go. Yo, look at the speed! Dum, 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 dum. I don't know why I was singing the Party Boy theme tune from Jack Arsene. Dum, 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 dum. So, what is going to be down here? It's not going to be anything good. Oh, there's quite a few enemies there. I think there's one on the horse as well. So... Bye. Oh, that, that's a lot of wolves. I'll have a look up here first, and then there's a little platform that we should be able to jump off. Which you would have seen on the trailer. What was that lightning? Oh my god, look at that. Um, so there is something up there I can grab, but is it worth grabbing it? Pick it up. Right, let's get it. Yep, see you later, buddy. I am not fighting you yet. Not a chance. Not a chance in hell. Okay, spirit spring jumping. Jump while on horseback. Now, spirit spring to ride its current high into the air. You won't take damage from jumping into spirit spring while on horseback, even from a great height. So you can jump on them while you're not on your horse. That's amazing. Here we go. Oh, oh my god, no. Back, get back down. Get back down. Get back down. We are not ready for that. Nope. And there's... Oh. Look at this boy. Here we go. Horse fight. Yeah, boy. Come on, bitch. Where you going, bitch? Come on. Stop running away. Come on. Stop running away. Wait, is he dead? Oh, shoot. That was easy. Torrent. What a name for a horse. Torrent. Oh, no. That means that I've got to stop doing that. I've got to stop assuming that um, last stick is the sprint. Hey, there's another person on a horse here, so let's get rid of him first. Come on. Oh. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Okay, jump off. Come on, buddy. Come on. I've just got to, like, sprint after him. Oh, oh, shoot. Oh, that was close. Shit. It's just not giving me an opening to actually hit him. Unless I can literally only do it on the horse. Oh, that was so close. Oh, come on. 
not the playthrough we wanted. Here we go. Yeah, bitch. That's what you get. Pussy. Ah, <laughs> he's taking a nap on his horse. I mean, poor horse, the horse didn't do anything wrong. So, I go down here now. I mean, the world looks massive to explore. I don't think there's any way I can explore all of this. Oh no, I've got no flasks either. So if I jump up here, can we jump up? Can we jump up, come on, can we jump up? If I jump up here, is there anything of interest here? Or is it just a little base? Gotta be something. Oh, what's that? Let's get that. Rune fragments. Nice. There's two birds on there. Oh, more. Another rune fragment. Nice. Okay. Um, some wolves. There's a wolf up there. Oh, no. Ow! 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 No! Run! I'm only on low health. Ah. Are they following me? Are they still following me? No, they're not. Okay. That was lucky. Hey, can we get down here? No, but I have a feeling you can jump down there with your horse, but there's going to be... See something glowing. One moment. I clicked every button but the correct button. Wait, what happened there? What the hell? What the hell happened there? I jumped in the puddle, it wasn't that high up, a double jump. What the hell? 